All right, so today in drama, we are going to play a game and this game is called machine, but we need to do a little bit of work before we can build our machine. And the first thing I wanna do is show you this workshop. This is a really neat website called ArtStation. And this is where designers can um, design things and, and show them off. And so someone has designed this workshop, which is the elves and the shoemaker. All right, so this elves and the shoemaker workshop shows you everything that's in the fable of the elves and the shoemaker, which hopefully you saw in the video before. So we're going to go through this workshop and you can just take a look at this video as I play it. So there's no sound to it. So just look at what all is in this workshop. Then we'll scroll through the pictures of it. So there's um, a sewing machine, tools on a table, an eating table, the little elf clothes, chairs, barrels, a window, multiple windows, a door, a rack that has hanging tools, a shelf that has shoe molds on it. Just a lot of different things in this workshop, right? So let's look at a still picture of this. So we've got all the different things. And then the next thing we're gonna look at is a close up of these tools. And with these tools, there is a pick and a chisel and a screwdriver, pliers, a hammer, a leather board, um, shoe polish, shoe model. Um, this table has food on it and the little clothes that the shoemaker's wife made for the elves and an old fashioned sewing machine. So in these different pictures, there are a lot of things that you can see. And we are going to create this setting. So you guys have probably heard this in your reading time. But what is a setting? Millie, do you know what a setting is? A setting is like a thing that helps for you to know what it is. Good guess. So a setting helps you know where the story takes place, right? Mm -hmm. So the setting is where the story takes place. So here we have our setting for the elves and the shoemaker fairy tale that we listened to just now. And uh, we are going to create it with our bodies. So um, when I say go, you're going to choose something in this room and become it with your body. And for example, I'll give you the example. If I'm a sewing machine, then I'm going to make the pose of that's kind of like a sewing machine. So this is my sewing machine. Can I put those down, please? And we are going to add an action and a noise to it. And both of them are going to be repetitive. So it's going to be like this. Ready? And freeze. All right. So what's going to happen is I'm going to say go. You're going to make your pose. And then you are going to build your machine. When I say go, then you're gonna make your action and your sound. So there'll be a freeze into your post, a go, do your action and sound, and then freeze again. Awesome. Ready, Millie, can you try it? Are you making something right now? I got to make noise. Awesome. Okay. Um, ready? Go. Mine is oh, you gotta make a noise. Add a noise that can be repeated. Okay. What are you? Maybe you're a jar. Okay, there you go. She thought of a noise that was very creative. I'm breaking. Okay, she's a breaking jar. And every time she reassembles herself and then breaks again, right? Good, good. So freeze into your pose and go with your action and sound. And freeze. Good. Now, whatever pose you made, I want you to make a new pose now, okay? Ready? So make a different object. Ready? Breathe into your pose and go. That's perfect. Great job and freeze I'll again. Show you which one mine All right, is. let's do one more time. Good job. So let's make one more different object. Ready? 
breathe into your pose and make your sound. Crunch, 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 crunch. Oh, the mashed potato that they're crunching up. Good. So she's mashing a potato. There are so many different options, and you can create so many different kinds of machines. You can use this story again, or you can do a different story and make up your own objects. And it's really fun if you get multiple people in on it. So Millie and I will show you what it looks like to get multiple people in on it. So, for example, if I am a hammer and I pass off my thing to Millie, then we become like a factory assembly line kind of thing. So I'm going to be the hammer. And can you think of something to do after me so that I'll, I'll pass it to you and then you go? I know what I'll be aware, like so I can. A scale. You'll be a scale mm -hmm. to weigh can... things. All right, come here. <clears throat> All right, ready? I'm going to be the hammer. Ready? Dink. Dink, 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 shh. Do five. Make your hands. Keep going. Good job. All right, and then I start again. You stop and I start. Dink, 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 shh. Dink, dink. and freeze awesome so you can add on to it and as many people as you have you can add on to it and do more and more and more until you have this big huge assembly line like a factory so that's our machine today thanks for playing make another one that was super fun